Hello Internet, I'm Yoli May, and it's time for another death battle. This one I'm quite excited for. Zuko of Avatar The Last Airbender versus Shoto Todoroki of My Hero Academia. Now as I should say with all my reactions, please click the link in the description below to go and watch the actual episode itself before watching mine or anyone else's reactions. Don't be a dick, support the official release. Alright, so... How do I know these characters? Uh, both I'm actually quite familiar with because I watched Avatar and My Hero Academia. So I got a good grasp on who Zuko and Shoto both are. I will say though, I haven't read the My Hero manga. I also haven't seen two movies. So there could be some stuff I'm missing there that might get brought up in this death battle. Uh, I also haven't read the Avatar comics. Or watched uh, Legend of Korra. I've seen clips of it. Though it may the clips I've seen don't actually make me want to watch it. But that's besides the point. Anyway. So. Uh, viewers may also know that this matchup was actually in my recent top 10 death battles that I want to see video. So. That was. Um, that was quite surprising. I'm still not entirely over that. But. uh, Anyway. Uh, who do I think is going to win? Uh, in my reaction to Beerus vs. Galaxia, I stated that I thought Zuko was going to win. But, however, after all the stuff that uh, I've been seeing and even re-looking into, I might be shifting to Shoto. Because, uh, oh, I actually went back through Avatar. So, to correct a little something I said in my reaction, uh, I mentioned the... Zuko survived his boat exploding. He didn't. He survived the bridge exploding. Not the whole boat. So. May have remembered that wrong. So yeah. But at least I admit it. Uh, but yeah. From what I've been like re looking at. And uh, what not. I still stand by the Shoto is way like. Like, he has the destructive uh, capability advantage. Absolutely. Though, I still stand by that I think Zuko is faster and the more skilled fighter of the two. Uh, I still think that he could, like, redirect any of Shoto's fire. It's the ice that's going to be the problem, though. Because, well, yeah, he's dealt with ice via fighting other waterbenders like Katara. He has still been pinned down. And only got himself out because of the sun rising. And uh, other stuff. And I don't remember Katara ever making a... Like, an ice... Like, ice... Like, sorry. God, Jesus Christ. I don't ever remember ma Katara making ice on the level of Todoroki. So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, power output-wise, Zuko is outmatched. Though, skill on the other hand, I still think Zuko takes it. Whereas, the thing with uh, Todoroki, how he fights, he he's not really, like, an up-close, like, hand-to-hand -hand fighter. Like, he's more like a stay back and he'll just, like, throw fire and ice at you. I think I did the wrong sides there, but whatever. Point is, uh... Z I have seen the argument if Zuko can, like, get in close to land a killing blow, then he could win. I think that is a fairly decent argument, but I don't think it's going to be enough to give him, like, more wins. Like, like have him win this more times than not, essentially. But, uh, I am very interested in seeing how the fight turns out. I mentioned in my top ten I would love to see this hand-drawn. It's a puppet sprite fight, so rip the dream. But from what I saw of the preview, oh my god, I sweat the voice actor they got for Zuko. If it's not who I think it is, then I gotta give mad props to whoever. Okay, basically, 
I feel fairly certain that it's Dante Basco himself, because it sounds exactly like him. Uh, so that alone has me really, really excited. Uh, if it's not Dante, though, whoever the f voices Zuko in this, mad freaking props. But uh, anyway, the video's out. That's why I've been rambling. I've just been trying to wait until 6 o'clock so I can refresh the page and actually open it on the Rooster site. So uh, without further ado, I am going to... I should actually plug my headphones in first. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and hit play. There we go. Uh, oh. I am just going to throw this out there. Um, both their dads are terrible. But I will give Endeavor the benefit of the doubt because he's not a fire Hitler, essentially. So, there you go, Endeavor. You get a uh, better dad award in this debate. Still an absolute douche, though. Anyway. And play. Do, do. Those cool oh, I didn't do it like I. Oh, you know what? I was gonna stop my reaction like that. Oh. Like you? <laughs> Don't be silly, uh, I'm not I fucked up. Character. Like Prince Zuko, the firebending hunter of the Avatar, the last airbender. <laughs> and Shoto Todoroki, the prodigal son of fire and ice from My Hero Academia. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it quickly. The way I wish that they would start it, or the way I should have started my reaction. Is a parody of you just got slapped from how I met your mother. I was just thinking some of the lines of What is this feeling that's made you hate your dad? A hot red burning on the side of your face. Something like that, because they both have scars on the side of their faces and whatnot. Anyway. He's wears an iron boomstick. And, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, weapons armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. There we go. I still synced it up and did the Water, thing. Earth, fire, air. Huh? The four elemental nations oh! once coexisted peacefully. They actually didn't do a Captain Planet joke. When the fire nation attacked. Yeah, okay. The cranky old fire lord went and conquered basically the whole world. And a hundred years later, chosen. the powerful master of fire Ozai continued that tyranny. Also a dick. He believed his rule would one day pass to either his daughter Azula or his son Zuko. Yeah, Fire Dad was way too ego crazy for that. He drove Azula mad, even though he did clearly favor her. Poor little yeah, Zuko she went a bit. Over from the beginning. Cool, cool. Can you imagine your dad saying that while your sister was born lucky? You were oh just yeah. To be born. I can't imagine my Ugh. dad saying anything to me. Oh, right. Uh, well, despite this, That's Zuko was not. desperate to prove himself. What a fine work ethic. But he screwed up by talking out a turn in a big boy meeting. So naturally, his dad took. I stand by what he said, him though. Down and taught him the importance of respecting others. <laughs> oh, wait, nope. Just kidding. He burned his freaking face off. Yeah, that. Holy shit. That was With brutal. His new scar came a new mission. Zuko would hunt down the elusive Avatar, the one threat to his nation's rule, to prove himself to his father and regain his honor. Which is just a nice way of saying he was banished so he could never come back. Just mm. like my dad didn't. Though, frankly, Zuko did have the talent and training he needed to capture someone even That fight between him and Azula at the end was Damn freaking right. awesome. He's a fighting bro! The dude's strong enough to shatter metal chains with a kick! An He's axe kick, no less! Martial arts, dual swords, and oh yeah, firebending! As a firebender, Zuko harnesses the light of the sun to summon flames from thin air. Wherever mm -hmm. fire remains a light in an area that's not too cold, he can manipulate or bend it to his will. Including I mean, make it strong enough to cut freaking crystals. Water around, tossed a few rocks, or farting hot air all the time, I would definitely go with firebending. It literally means you're a living flamethrower. Plus, it's surprisingly yeah. versatile. Aside from simply creating, launching, and moving, yeah, look at that. firebending can be used to heat objects, melt through ice prisons, and even defy gravity. Is that guy flying? Yeah. With fire? Awesome. How does that even work? 
Well, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law. By creating mm. a rapid series of explosions an inch or so away from the palm, the air in between the hand and fire is launched toward the user, thereby creating propulsion. Yeah, fire bending isn't just about creating fire. It's about creating a bunch of it. Jesus so Christ. Zuko can make large, long-lasting walls of flame to protect I will say, though, those clips were only with uh, Sozon's you know, Comet. I don't uh, think that should yeah, be considered, though. It's fire. You know, I've actually rigged up my arm to replicate the technique of fire bending. Dummy. Hey, dummy's back! Another test. How thrilling. Now, oh, this God. isn't as simple as just pointing and shooting. Firebenders fuel their flames with their own breath. And using it at all requires a fierce understanding of martial arts. What are you trying to do, the Macarena? Zuko's <laughs> favorite form, the dancing dragon, draws primarily from northern Shaolin Kung Fu. <laughs> That's a Chinese martial yeah, trying to do the dragon dance at the same time is funny. Stances and aggressive attacks, a perfect mix of speed and strength. Like this. Whoa! Which? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Ha ha ha. <laughs> Oh, he's made a anyway, little the kitty face. The fire like Zuko can generate is extremely hot. What about that little Cable detail? It was cute. Cast iron door hot. This would need to be over 1,200 degrees Celsius. Oh, Jesus. And while Susan's comet was boosting his powers, Zuko's uncle Iro blasted apart the giant outer wall um... of Ba Sing Se. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. <laughs> Until Iro comes a knocking. Because Iroh's a fucking like boss. I love Iro. He's one of my favorite characters. The emotional walls between me and my dad. Even with well, Susan's uh, comet, which only appears that. once every 100 years, Zuko has yeah, so more I don't than think it should be to level of building. That's no laughing matter for any person or building. He's even mm. quick enough to catch lightning. That's his biggest his edge. Fire powers to redirect it wherever he wants it to go. Kapow! Suck it, Dad! Oh shoot! Wait, did he just shoot his dad with lightning? No, he Zuko's shot the ground the just Avatar under him. him. Down a different path than he expected. Inspired by his kind uncle and the Avatar himself, he joined the heroes on a new journey. One of I was so happy when he became yeah, a good guy. Yeah, turns he didn't need his dad's approval after all. He just needed to approve himself. Now hmm. that's character development. Yeah, it is. definitely had a heated redemption arc. And now that he's the fire daddy, uh, Lord, fire lord, his own... Oh, hail fire lord bright. Zuko. Are you crushing on Zuko? What? No, no. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's okay, <laughs> Wiz. Everybody does. Hello? Zuko here. Of course! <laughs> Of course, that is the how they end his analysis. Where the supernatural is natural, where more than eighty percent of the population possesses superhuman abilities known as quirks. And because everyone loves to game a system, there's a superhero leaderboard. At the very top of it stands the All ultimate Might. Hero, All Might. All Might's feats and reputation were incredible. A true symbol of peace for because everyone. he's just that is, a hero. The hero. He just wants to help people. Rank number two. That's Unlike this douchebag, he vowed to surpass All Might, but his literal firepower was just never enough. But if he couldn't do it himself, he would vicariously through his own heir. Thus, he made the desperate decision to arrange a quirk marriage. Basically, he paid a family off to get a wife with a Wait. nice quirk and popped out That's how... until he got the right quirk combo. Gross. <laughs> like I need a shower. After four uh, attempts, they finally spawned the child you know what? I was looking for. I'm gonna go into that. Shoto Todoroki. Half cold, half hot. Literally, right side's ice like his mom, and left side's fire like his dad. Endeavor quickly separated. And they balance out each other's weaknesses. So that's training him to become the most powerful hero in history. Surprise! Things didn't go so well. He drove Shoto's mom totally insane until she broke. Oh yeah. Pouring boiling water on her son's left side because it reminded her too much of him. This is okay. this is a super coincidence. I love how their scars are on the same side. Powers and frog people. Fortunately, Todoroki never truly fell for his father's disgusting manipulation. He attended UA High School, a hero academy, and worked to use mm. his power for good. But just his mom's power. Why use fire when you can have spite to the man? The man being a uh, big scary fire dad over there. Anyone else notice his facial hair is made of fire? How's that work? I will give him that. That is cool. Todoroki can summon intense bouts of cold, freezing the air, or even creating massive glaciers of ice. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely got the sheer power in my age. Good edgy teen. Shoto named this super iceberg something badass. Heaven piercing. piercing ice there we go. Oh, you can just taste the self-loathing. 
He can create sheets of ice to slide on or propel himself forward as if riding a Healy. While he can't manipulate the ice after he's launched it, he has extremely precise control over its initial release. Hmm. He can even freeze opponents so thoroughly that they are frozen both inside and out. Oh, yeah, if he wins, that's how Zuko's dying. Seriously, that's so dark. It's chilling. Talk about having a cold shoulder. But Todoroki has a problem. While he is highly resistant to cold, he's not immune. Here I am. Guess I'll die. <laughs> oh, God. You this time, dummy. Genuine joy. Casting too much ice from his right side. Is it weird that I want a plushie of dummy, but I feel like it'd be the most depressing toy ever. Frostbite. I mean, it takes freezing an entire building before side effects even start to show up. So it's not all... Why'd you even make the stupid robot? <laughs> That's why Endeavor chose to mix ice with fire. See, he had the same problem with his own fire quirk. But with cold and hot combined, they could counter each other's weaknesses. Thankfully, Shoto made a pretty damn convenient so for fire wasn't his father's. It was his own. You tell him, Deku. Finally, the Deku's a good boy. Icy hot was unleashed. Are you think you could help my back? Just hurts from carrying the show <laughs> while he's much from less carrying the show with fire, given his lack of experience with it this half of his quirk is identical to endeavors his fire is hot enough to melt tetsu tetsu whose body can turn to steel which means it can reach temperatures over 1600 degrees oh that's that's hot like raging inferno form walls of flame to block off areas and use his evil dead signature technique Flash fire! Flash fire is a method of compressing flame under super hot temperatures before releasing it in a single strike. Endeavor can also shape his fire, use it to cling to walls, and fly. But even if he is That's a huge both do that. Dead, Endeavor was kinda right. Fire and ice combined put both quirks at their best. Shoto's one of the best in his class, taking hits from a tank like Deku, fighting top tier mm. foes like Stain, and keeping up with classmates like Bakugo and Tokoyami, who can block Kaminari's electricity. And while he's often criticized for relying too much on his quirk, Todoroki is incredibly smart and a quick thinker, reading and setting traps for his opponents in the blink of an eye. Okay. Oh boy, that's he gonna come into play. Things up with his mom, and somehow even inspired his dad to try and be a better person. What a nice story! I wish you could inspire my dad too. Not mama though; she's already perfect. Well, on his way to becoming a I'm not sure what to hero, say. Shoto Todoroki no that. longer fights in spite of his father, but for himself and the sake of others. Hmm. I wanted to. I'll be a hero. Pause. Okay. Okay, they brought up how uh, Zuko was able to, like, burn whole buildings and how Shoto was able to freeze whole buildings. They didn't give a calc on the heaven piercing ice wall, though. And I feel like that's going to be the thing that really uh, bites Zuko in the butt. Um. I think they also said that Shoto's fire is hotter than Zuko's. So, that's a thing to consider there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick with my initial uh, judgment at the beginning of this video and say Shoto's going to win. Uh, I just feel like with him... Like, they mentioned him being able to be a quick thinker and set up traps. Then I feel like that's what's gonna, like, uh, screw Zuko over and he's gonna get frozen and... Oof. So... Not gonna be pretty, so... I think Shoto's gonna win, but I'm totally cool with either one of them winning. Uh, I mean, if you had to make me pick, I would say I prefer Zuko. So, hey, if he ends up winning, then the character I prefer wins. So, yeah. Anyway, play. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a dead battle! I am looking forward to seeing the rest of this fight. Oh, I will say, though, at the beginning, Shoto's a dick. Like, Zuko's just training. And then... Yeah, that happens. And just you'll pay for that. No way. I'm not the bad guy here. I mean, not I can't get over how it sounds so much like Dante. Fire like my 
father. I'll prove I'm better than both of you. <laughs> yep, just redirecting it. Shattering the ice. What's the matter? Feel like Nothing under pressure. Yeah, that line in particular, it sounds so much like Dante Bosco. <laughs> Oh wait, I love this moment. He's just like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love that moment so much. Because it's so true. <laughs> Ooh, nice dodge. Oh, that's a little steamy. A little hard to see. Oh, there we go. That cleared up. Oh, excellent dodge. Jesus! <gasps> yes! No. My cabbages! <laughs> they did it! I to finish you with fire. You could obviously block it. But not this. It's over. Oh, Jesus! Wait. I don't care how much power you have. I know who I am. I will win! Um, you sure about that, Zuko? I mean, on one hand, it's looking good for you right now, but... There it is. Yep, Shoto's got this. Oh, I'm sorry, Zuko. I am the Fire Lord. I will win this for my honor. Of course you say honor. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yep. Well, Apologies. I caught the result right, at least. K.O. Okay, talk about cool as hell. That was epic. Please, oh, we're just looking leaving here. <laughs> Both Todoroki and I know that Zuko feel. Solid advantages over the other. Zuko's martial arts, that that and too. lightning fast reflexes meant that if he could get close to Todoroki, he could likely end the fight pretty quick. But Shudo's hmm. no slouch. The guy may be better at long range, but he's been in scraps before. Like with the super fast, super deadly hero killer Stain. And with all that... I will say, though, we... And his own you know, I'll, I'll save that for you. Skills, Shudo made it hard for Zuko to get close for long. Plus, the speed difference wasn't all that drastic. Todoroki's fellow student Tokoyami's dark shadow blocked Kaminari's electricity after it had been fired. Quirks are not magic, hmm. and there are very few ways for electricity to travel through the air. Lightning is essentially an ionized path that electricity travels through. Kaminari's quirk must use the same method. Oh, okay. Dark Shadow blocked Kaminari, Bakugo dodged Dark Shadow, and Todoroki can match Bakugo in a fight. Bada bing bada hmm. boom, that's lightning fast reflexes, baby! While Zuko certainly okay. had more control over fire, Todoroki could easily repel his firebending with his own flames, not to mention the clear difference in temperature. There it is. He may be skilled with fire, but he's not immune to it. Nor did he have any reliable counter for fast and massive ice attacks. We and this is where you calc it. Calculator for this one, Wiz. That stadium is circled by a four-kilometer track. That's huge. And the edgy ice wall covered almost half of it in less than a second. Zuko didn't have that kind of power spread. Yes, I no. know fire melts ice, but not instantly when it comes to gigantic glaciers. Plus, firebending becomes much more difficult in cold temperatures. So oh, sure, yeah, Zuko that's true. Ice prisons before, but I didn't even think about that cooler in the prison. At least breathe. Remember, firebending requires breath and movement. When Azula was trapped in an ice prison so compact she couldn't move or breathe, she was... Oh, open. that's true. But, like, Shoto could just freeze over Zuko's insides anyway. No way yeah. he would survive in that. Zuko might have been an admirable bender and adorable fan favorite, but mm. Todoroki's overwhelming ice, versatile defense, and incredible power were just too much to handle. Zuko fl aimed for success, <laughs> but his opponent Shoto put him on ice. <laughs> the winner is Shoto Todoroki. Congrats, Shoto.
And hey, I like both. Battle. And called the result right, so. Of our upcoming matchups. If you want to watch more stuff, totally cool. The box is right around here, and you can always pick up some DB merch at store. All right, what's the next time? Oh, flash! Wait. It's... What? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> if anyone's curious about that reaction, um, yeah, Flash versus uh, Archie Sonic. That was also in my top ten. What? On one hand, hell yes. On the other hand, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Uh, real talk though, real talk though. Okay. As for this fight, Zuko versus Shoto. Uh, first of all, really like this fight. It did make me think, oh god, Zuko might actually win it. So, you know, it kept me on my toes and all that good stuff. So, yep, yeah, props to the animators and uh, writers for all that. Uh, the voice actors. If, if Zuko wasn't Dante Bosco in this, then whoever was the voice Zuko, I, I might actually have to... Go back and look through the credits because I forgot to do that. Oh my god! It, it was Dante! It's right there in the credits! Dante Bosco! Although it says Dante Bo. Wait, is it Bosco or Basket? You know what? Doesn't matter. It fucking was him. That's awesome. Oh my! I, how'd they get away with putting him in the credits, though? Hey, you know, you know what? Never mind. That's awesome. And whoever was the voice, the uh, Shoto Todoroki, uh, John. Uh, you sounded a lot like his uh, voice actor in the uh, dub. So, yeah. Huge props to that. Oh, my. And the freaking Cabbage Merchant. Yes. And, you know, I'm going to sound a little cruel for saying this. But I was really, like, hyped for the uh, Smite uh, Battle Pass that had all the Avatar stuff. There were a few things that did hurt me about it. There's one that uh, Zuko isn't voiced by Dante Bosco in that, and it sounds barely anything like him. So I just can't help but think that that's not Zuko's voice, like when I play. Uh, so the fact that this happened, um, and uh, they also had the cabbage merchant with the no my cabbages line. There is a Cabbage Merchant Global emote, but he doesn't yell, no, my cabbage is. It's just Ang quietly going, oops, my mistake. So, it's much disappointing in that aspect, but this death battle delivered. Oh, it was good. It was really good. And, uh, okay. 
uh, I still love the fact that Zuko's, hello, Zuko here, was like the last thing in his analysis. Um, and of course they had to have him say honor at some point in the fight. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, this is the first time an Avatar character lost, but there is one thing that I do have to say in terms of, uh, Avatar characters in future death battles. From what I know of their requests, um, it doesn't end well for them. So... Zuko might be the start of Avatar's losing streak in Death Battle. And I mean, requests like, uh, Katara versus Juvia, uh, Azula versus Cinder, Jean versus Sokka, uh, if I remember right, Korra loses her fights too? I don't know, but, yeah, so... That's, that's a thing. And enough talking. Now for the next time. I still can't fucking believe it. But anyway. They're finally using Archie Sonic in a death battle. And the only thing I've ever really heard about Archie Sonic is that the characters on Archie, they're just bullshit powerful. Like, crazy. In fact, I even heard claims that Archie Sonic might actually beat like Goku and other DBC characters. <laughs> so just, just to give you an idea. I don't know if that's like pre-Super though. So that's a thing to consider. And with DC's massive winning streak and death battle, a lot of people are saying, oh DC are bullshit powerful. So which is more bullshit? DC or Archie? Well, so I'm a little surprised it's Wally West versus Sonic and not Barry Allen again. So, hmm. I don't know. The Yeah. Uh, don't actually know who I think is going to win that. I have heard the fight is crazy even. So... Yeah. I, I legitimately have no idea what to say at this point, so I think I'm just gonna wrap this up. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, all of that stuff, and here's whatever outro is next in the lineup. Bye. Thanks for watching. You're only made on YouTube. You rock. Thanks for watching.